so we're on our way to Comuna 13, notoriously known as one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Colombia. We're in the center of Medellin right now and look at all the commotion and everything that's going on. So many people. There are street food stalls, every type of cart that you can find. Muna 13 is an overpopulated and low socioeconomic area that hugs the hills to the west of the city. Not too long ago, Comuna 13 was considered the most dangerous area in Medellin, Colombia, itself the most dangerous city in the world. Tourists didn't step foot here, and many locals didn't either. Comuna 13 used to be one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Colombia and one of the things that they did to make it a little more safe is they put in these escalators to get you across the city because before you had to walk through all of these barrios to get everywhere. Comuna 13 rose to notoriety in the 80s and 90s at the height of Colombia's drug and gang era. The barrio became a transit point for drug traffickers, guerrillas and gangs. This behind us is the Orion mural. And the Orion operation is when they sent in a bunch of troops suddenly because Comuna 13 was becoming really bad and that's when it was the most dangerous neighborhood here. And so they sent in a bunch of troops and that's when this really started to become more of a safer neighborhood. So these pictures show how the escalators came to be and how the neighborhood used to be compared to now. So we're up here a little bit early, but supposedly all these little shops actually open up here around 10 in the morning. You can see all of these makeshift tents and people are starting to set up. So during these operations, when they tried to make this part of the city better, a lot of people died. And they were all buried in the same area over here. And this is called the Ridge. See how disorganized all of the buildings are down here? So that's actually why Comuna 13 became what it became, was because it was a perfect place for drug traffickers and gang violence and police raids because of the area of the city but also the nature of the buildings there were good places to hide a bunch of winding alleys and it was just perfect for what they were doing and you could see that as you look at this the neighborhood is partly known for its many powerful graffiti murals depicting the conflicts corruption and events that happened there the walls of Comuna 13 have become a canvas to depict its difficult past, bringing hope to the people who live here. That's 
cool. So in order to see some of the more dangerous parts of Communa 13 where tourists don't really go, we've hired a guide that actually lives here in Communa 13 and her house is right up here. So this is her mother's house. So before they put in all the escalators, which actually just helped the community make it a little safer, make it a little easier to get around, they had all the stairs like this going through all of the barrio. So this is supposed to be still a dangerous neighborhood, but if you look around, there's a bunch of music playing, a bunch of color, kids playing, and it just seems like a fun, safe place. It's hard to imagine that just 10 years ago, this was one of the most dangerous cities in the world. Alright, so Lindsay loves avocados, so she's gonna get avocado paleta. Mm. <laughs> Your stick's a little crooked. We're on the escalators right now, and it's crazy to think that 15 years ago we would not have been able to come here together and get popsicles. Just walking around by ourselves. And now it feels like I feel totally safe. Over the past seven or eight years, Communa 13 has undergone a complete transformation. The area is no longer known for gang violence, police raids, cartels, and illegal trafficking. Today in Communa 13, the quality of life for the locals has changed for the better and they are no longer afraid to leave their homes. This is our room in a hostel for about $19 a night. Split between both of us, less than $10. Our own bathroom and everything. Okay, now we're leaving Medellin and we're going to... Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.